Hello again, everybody. This is Mr. Everything, and I'm coming at you with another Wargaming in Miniatures video. In this one, we are going to make a Wargaming Cemetery. And this is, again, again, for my bolt-action 20 mil terrain. I'm building all kinds of different terrain. You never know what you might need. I have a Woodland Scenics model railroading cemetery tombstone set but first of all I, I cut out a piece of mdf you know i love my mdf right and i beveled the edges along the edges of the mdf right just took a just took a simple box knife scraped the edges great now if you notice uh, the smooth side is the downside the rough side is the upside why It'll hold the flock better and the grit will all stick better to that than this. It doesn't really matter which way you do it. Um, I just thought I'd do it this way. Let me put the tombstones on here and zoom in so you can kind of see what they look like. They're pretty cool. All right, this is the set right here that I've got. Um, I've got like three wreaths here. These wreaths are going to go out. I've got like the cross, um, just simple. Those are like pewter uh, tombstones. And then I got this little... A wedge here that I guess a a wreath is supposed to go up against um, and then I've got this little statue right there so these are the this this is the woodland scenics uh, I think it's life it might be lifelike cemetery set and since I found it the other day I said you know what why don't I put that to good use I'm gonna go ahead and make a World War II cemetery all right now I also have uh, these walls okay these this wall set I got this wall set um, a number of years ago, and I've, again, decided, you know what, I'm going to go, they're resin. Uh, I got these when I was living in Nashville, I think. Okay, so here we go. We're going to, what I'm going to do is we're going to put these walls on this base. Which we're going to put these four-cornered walls, kind of showing you ahead of time how it's going to look. Now, I'm going to put this wall here. Now, there is a, I did have a, I did have a piece that goes here. But it didn't make sense to me, it did not make sense to me to seal off a cemetery to have all four walls covered. There should be a gate or something like that somewhere. Now I could make like a little balsa wood gate. I could move this over and make like a little balsa wood gate there or something like that. But I decided to do something, something even better. I'm just going to take one of these corners off, the corner that would normally go there. I'm just going to take it off and not not put it there. This is just going to be the area that you would go in. I might, I'm not going to put a gate there. Okay, and then I'm going to put these guys all along inside here. I'm going to make three rows of three. And then what I was thinking, this is what, that's what I was getting at. I was going to put the statue of the lady, put her like right there, right up front. Because you want your models to be able to move in between them you know, as well. You don't want to, I mean, it doesn't matter, but what I'm planning on doing is using putty to make little mounds, very light, small mounds where the bodies would be. All right, guys, so now you might not be able to see that very well, but what I've done was I've marked my nine grave sites, right? And so what I'm going to do is go to the next step. I use a lot of this dry decks. It goes on pink and I don't want to paint it or, or put any kind of grit on it or anything like that until it turns white. Okay. Now for this, I think I might use a tool. Hmm. I could use my finger, but I'm going to use a tool just to, just a hobby stick. And I want to put a mound here. I want to mound this up because everything else is just going to be purely purely flat. Okay, now when when working with uh, dry decks, you want to keep your fingers wet. Any putties really, keep your fingers wet. That way, your fingers won't stick to whatever putty you're working with, and smooth it out. As you can see, this is like smooth as a baby's bottom. Now I'm going to put grass and flock and grit over all this whole thing, so you might not see that might be just a little bit too much putty put some over there 
Okay, so we've got our nine burial mounds, right? And now what I'm going to do is, uh, while this is drying, it's going to take a while to dry, uh, I'm going to go ahead and glue the walls on and the tombstones, and we'll, we'll still make progress. All right, when I get all these walls glued on, we'll be right back. All right, so we got our walls glued down. We still, as you notice, that's still pink, but the outer corners are starting to gradually turn uh, white. Um, but as soon as that turns completely white, we'll be able to paint it. But while we're waiting, we're going to go ahead and glue down the tombstones. All right, guys, we got the tombstones glued down to the grave sites. Now we're just going to have to wait for the putty to dry before I can go in and grit the whole base and then flock it. So when it, when it dries, we'll be back. All right, we got our cemetery. The putty is dried. We got our little grave sites uh, you can see right there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grit this entire thing because I'm planning on going ahead and flocking the entire thing. So let's go ahead. Now what I've done is I've mixed... Uh, some white glue, right, and some water in about a 50-50 mix to be placed in a pallet. I'm, I don't know if you can see the pallet. There you go, the pallet. And it's, I'm stirring it up in the pallet. And then what I do, I apply it here and sprinkle the grit. So let's go ahead. Now don't try to do the whole board in one sitting because uh, you're you're putting white glue and water on MDF and it's going to absorb in. So I'm only going to do about a quarter of it at a time. Maybe a little more. So you can kind of see how that's wet. All right. Sprinkling the grit and the rocks, which is basically just the sand ballast mix. dry just for a second while I mix up another batch of glue. Alright, so we got the whole cemetery with grit on it, except for maybe that one little spot right there. But that's fine. I'm getting ready to grass the whole thing anyway. I'll just ensure that I cover that with some grass. Alright, because we're going to put grass pretty much over the entire thing. Um, and then some clump foliage here and there. But first, we're going to let this dry. I'm going to spray it back black, and then I'll be right back. All right, guys, we've got the uh, cemetery painted black so uh, and grit, and you can kind of see how it's coming about, right? I don't know if you can, with the lighting, you can kind of see the graves, and you can kind of see how they're a little raised, you know? That's starting to look really good. And then I got my little statue up front. Uh... I'm, I'm worried that this statue is going to be a weak point on this model. So I just have to be very careful with it, you know. It's about the same height as the posts, so... And I'll just have to remember not to stack anything on there or be careful with it. Okay, so um, I'm going to let this dry. And once it's dry, we're going to go ahead and paint it. All right, guys, now we're going to go ahead and color this uh, grit, basically the dirt of this model. We're going to color it a bark brown. And then once we do that, we're going to highlight it with the yellow ochre again. That's how I do most of my terrain. And then I'll go ahead and flock it uh, after we probably paint the uh, tombstones and the walls. But right now we're going to go ahead and put the dark brown or the bark brown on, and then I'll be right back.
All right, now before I finish this up, I did want to point something out, kind of show you. You'll look around, look at it, and you'll see that the brown actually has been absorbed into a lot of the black shining through, and, and it's uh, darker brown in, in certain areas and lighter brown in other areas. Well, when you water your brown down and you go and you blotch it on, you might... Uh, have some coverage that's you know not as good as other coverage but guess what that's exactly what you want you want it to be inconsistent this is terrain this isn't some perfectly painted showroom car you know you want this to be inconsistent so that effect is actually the desired effect okay now i'm not finished but let's go ahead and continue on Okay, we got the brown completely on inside and out. So we're going to let this sit and dry. I'm going to go wash my hands. And once it's done, we'll go come on back and we will go to the next step. And this is where I use slate gray uh, to dry brush the tombstones and the walls and the statue in the front. And now this is the dry brush step. This is the step that um, I'm just going to dry brush over the grit uh, using, it's kind of a wet dry brush. I just rub all the paint off the brush, but there's still some paint on the brush. And then I just drag it across the sand and the grit. And what happens is uh, it sticks to the highlighted, you know, areas and it looks just like that. All right, let me finish this and then I will be right back for the next step. Right, this is with me finishing the dry brushing over the entire cemetery, uh, the, over the graves, outside the walls, everywhere. And so now I'm going to let this dry and then we'll be back for the next step. Okay, the next step is to apply some more glue and this flock that I have here. It's actually a fairly colorful flock. It has some reds in it, which kind of gives it that uh, garden look. I thought I thought I'd go ahead and use this flock for the cemetery because I want it to be kind of a um, a serene setting. All right, so let's go ahead, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply uh, the glue directly to the graves themselves, and that's how I'm going to start. It'll help me uh, identify where the graves are even though I can see it pretty clearly because of the raised bumps. But uh, by, by doing that, it'll allow me to kind of visualize how big the paths need to be. So you just sprinkle it on and shake it off. And that's kind of what it'll look like. All right, let me go ahead and do those and I'll be right back. All right, I got the flock on there. Now what I'm getting ready to do is the outside of the wall, and I'm going to do that in a citadel static grass like I do most of my other terrain. That way it will blend in with a lot of my other terrain. And again, I don't cover the entire base. All right, when I get that done, I'll be right back. All right, that's done. Now I am uh, got the inside flocked with the garden grass and then on the outside I got the static grass and even on the walls in some spots like right there I've flocked up the walls that's because that's where the gaps were between the walls and I'm basically camouflaging the uh, imperfections with a uh, static grass now I don't want to uh, do that too much or it'll look obvious so what I did was just in a few spots I did that and then in some of the other spots I'm going to put clump foliage to cover that. All right, let me move on to the next step. All right, in the next step what I'm going to be doing is applying some clump foliage. I have over the time uh, collected a little tray full of foliage that um, was either excess or leftovers from other projects and I pretty much never throw anything away and then I'm going to cover gaps in the walls like that we you see right there. All I'm going to do is put some tacky glue along that area. I'm going to take some clump foliage. I'm going to find, there's my little orange one there. I think that would be great for a cemetery. And I'm just going to press it into the wall, right? It's going to just hide it and it'll look like it's just an added piece of color into the, into the cemetery. I might even put a tree in here. Nah, I'm not going to put any trees in here. 
But a tree might add additional flavor like a shade tree in a corner somewhere. Okay, so uh, let me go ahead and add all my clump foliage into different areas, and I'll be right back. All right, we got the finished product right here, fully done, ready for play on the table. Okay, this is the cemetery. Go ahead and zoom in. I wanted to show you something. There's a, I think it's this tombstone right there. Zoom in real close. Whoops. Let me steady my hand. Can you see that? Johnson. I don't know who that is, but <laughs> he's in that spot. <laughs> yeah. Take it low. What do you think? You like it? Does it look good? Looks like a good cemetery for a tabletop. I think so. All right, if you like the well, watching me build the terrain, go ahead and like the videos. If you want to see more of these types of videos or even gaming videos, go ahead and subscribe. And if you want to help support the channel, please hit the PayPal me link below. That really would help uh, support the channel. And I'll see you next time.